thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my health plans and my Hoyas. Today, it is another episode of top 10 favorite Hoya for the month. I just catch the last week of October. So then you can see the top 10 Hoyas that I have selected for everyone to take a look at their growth and also some specific leave that they have pushed out. I am not sure if those ones are specifically variegation. Please leave your comments down below if you have certain idea what that leaves are. So in this video, you will see a number of Hoyas that I recently purchased and also some older Hoyas that I have kept for maybe above a year time. So if you have any questions with regard to their cat tips, please leave your comment down below and we can discuss further. If you have any suggestion and any cat tips for any of these toys that I'm showing you right now, please also leave your comment down below so we can learn from each other. I would really appreciate if you tell me which one out of these 10 is your favorite. Or if you have more than that, you can of course tell me in the comment box down below as well. If you like this type of content and you don't want to miss out next time when I post a similar video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out next time. Without further ado, let's take a look at all of the colors up of the top 10 favorite Hoya for October 2022. First one over here, it particularly has a special meaning this month. This one here is Hoya New Husie. It's a very, very sad uh, news that um, many of us who are into Hoyas probably noted. Uh, Tori Nuhus, um, she unfortunately passed away this week. So this Hoya, I'm very, I'm very honored to be able to obtain from Camilla last year. And this one, uh, I'm very honored to obtain from Camilla this year in springtime um i noted this hoya because i have watched um the home tour of toril from summer rain oaks and she mentioned that there is one hoya that is named after her she is really really knowledgeable when it comes to hoya and also i have noted so many new species actually things started from that video when i noted that you can keep so many hoyas indoor and in a very good condition as well so this month i would love to show you the cutting i got from camilla back in around april time i'm really happy that this has grown uh, finally in my condition i placed it in the mealsbo cabinet this one is not a fast grower, if not a very slow grower. It took around two months for it to start pushing out new uh, growth back then. But after a while, I think it has acclimated pretty well to my condition because I can see that there are two growth points in just this cutting. And as you can see that the leaf shape is very dark in the foliage. I mean, not the leaf shape, but the leaf coloration is very dark in the foliage. It's dark green. And with regard to the growth pattern, it is very compact. It, uh, each node is very close to each other. This particular badonkle comes in at the time when I received the cutting. Very generous from Camilla. Um, it tried to push out buds a couple of times, but I don't know why it is not pushing out. It can't continue pushing out new buds at the moment. Hopefully it will soon. And as you can see, there is a new bud coming out from this new node. So hopefully this peduncle will continue to grow and I can see the large flat yellow flower from this small leaf hoya. I also mentioned in my previous videos a couple of times for new Hussier. The special thing about the flower is the flower itself is larger than the leaf. And that's the reason why I would like to obtain this particular Hoya. And of course, it is growing really nicely and all of the leaves looks glossy and at the same time really dark in foliage. That's why 
it is a Hoya that I would like to show you this month. And as I mentioned in particular, it is because this is named after Turil. Hoya Nihusie. This one here is Hoya Microstemma. This one is a Hoya that I have obtained from Camilla this year in April time. As you can see, the growth pattern is really, really pretty. Each of the leaf, it comes in a set in each node, and also it grows pretty close to each other. Because of the stem itself is relatively thin, it looks really nice as a hanging plant because it will drizzle down nicely, as like this one you can see over here. The special thing about this Hoya is because the flower is extremely beautiful and the most important thing is the flower smells like vanilla in accordance to Miro. I have not um, flower this particular species yet. I hope I can. Um, maybe not now because now it's already um, going into winter so I don't have high hopes that I can provide condition for this one to flower but as you can see it is a prolific grower it is in total two cuttings that I have potted but I think in total there are three growth point this is one two and then you have another one over here I really like this Hoya is because the new leaves comes in a little bit lime green and also the shape is just so attractive. You see that the leaf shape is pointy, but at the same time it has the vein is pretty obvious. I haven't spray anything on top of it. It just comes in this natural shiny texture. It's really really beautiful. Then we move on to this one, Hoya ETS10. I also got this one at the same time when I get Hoya Nihusie and also Microstemma. But as you can see, this is such a prolific grower compared to the previous two. The main reason, um, I'm not sure why, but maybe it is just a very good uh, jeans Hoya, that it grows really nicely as particularly I would say as a hanging plant because it drizzled down really nicely and it always comes with one set of leaf on each node and also each node is not too close so it's not very compact it makes it look extra nice as a hanging plant like this and when you look into the detail of this Hoya it has the splash like silver splash. I would say the distribution of the splash is extremely attractive. It's not so sectoral or it comes with big chunk, but it is very nicely um, distributed on the leaf. And when it comes to the leaf shape, it is very rounded. Um, also, it's not too big. I love this Hoya. It's just such a nice plant to grow together with other hanging plant on my Meals Bow cabinet. It gives that extra elegance on the Meals Bow cabinet, not just massive amount of Hoya, but also it looks very nice on a landscape perspective. And you can also see that this is a new leaf that pushed out, Probably it wants to branch out on this particular node. I'm gonna twist it too much, otherwise I'll break it. But um, it's a really easy going one. As I said, this is from maybe a three note cutting. Over the past half a year, it has grown this much. Let me know in the comment box down below how fast your Hoyas grow and what means by fast growing to you. Is this low uh, as a six month growth or is this super fast as a six month growth? Let me know. Um, I think the definition of fast growing varies a lot amongst collectors. Then we move on to another tiny leaf Hoya. This one is the oldest Hoya I have amongst all of the Hoya I'm showing you today. This one here is Hoya Picta. If you have followed me early on last year, you will note that this one is an import that I got from ASEAN Plant Export. At the time when I received it, it does not look good 
at all. I remember it was a huge plant. Well, maybe not huge like this much, but maybe it's a plant with two long strands like this and there's no root um, on the bottom. So basically I need to reroot it again. And at that time it was relatively new to me um, to propagate and acclimate Hoya, but I am very, very proud to show you this very nice grow over one year. It is a really beautiful hanging plant. I will show you some footage how it looks like in my Millsbow cabinet together with the ETS-10 as I just showed you. The beautiful thing about Hoya Picta is it is very, very tiny. If I show you this close up over here, you see that it looks just like the size of my nail, but at the same time, it is very, very glossy. It looks like green grapes, and also it is very succulent. If you see it on the side, it is very thick. And the growth pattern is perfect if you want to make it as a hanging plant, because it has relatively... Uh, long internode, as you can see here. The node internode is, mm, I would say, around mm, one and a half centimeters, and each of the node will have one set of leaves. And with this characteristic, it looks super nice as a hanging plant like this. And if you want to grow it compact, I think you just need to kind of um, circle the one tendril and then kind of rotate it and have it in a circular growth pattern. So then each of the node, as you can see, there are quite some air roots in each of the node. So in my experience, Koya Picta is not the easiest to pick up um, because it took me a very long time for this one to finally start pushing out new growth. I think I struggled in the first four months even, um, but after it has kind of stabilized and it has grown a lot of roots, as you can see now, it is definitely a mature plant with very nice water roots in the water reservoir. All I need to do now is just to make sure this water reservoir is filled with water. And except from that, it is super low maintenance. It doesn't need too much light. If you give it too much light, it will have some weird looking leaf. For example, um, it doesn't have it, maybe this one here. You see that there are some kind of concave shape on the leaf, like here. I remember I asked Miro about this, if he knows is this a disease or not, uh, but he said that, not sure about that, but actually it looks kind of cool with this kind of ribble uh, on the tiny leaf. And after I stopped giving too high light, I put it in a lower uh, lighting area in my Millspo cabinet, the new leaf comes in normal. You see, this is very smooth compared to the one here with a lot of ripple. Maybe some of you like this type. I just want to make sure that the plant is doing all right. But uh, it has not stopped growing. Um, all the ones drizzle down. It's more kind of smooth on the surface, as you can see. And uh, yeah, very, very attractive tiny leaf hoy. I love this one super much. Now let's move on to this one. This one here is Hoya Myrmi Cooper. You can see that the leaf is slightly larger than the other ones I just show you, but it is still a relatively small leaf Hoya. And I love the flower of this one. I have showed you multiple times why I like Myrmi Cooper so much. It is because of the light purple slash um, purplish pink color. But this time, this is the Hoya that I mentioned, I'm not sure. Look at this leaf. I don't know if this is actually a variation. I doubt it is, but it is so perfect in the middle, sectoral coloration difference. It could be because of some pests. I. I really don't know. Please let me know in the comment box down below if you have experienced Hoyas turning its color like this. Of course, I will know more after it pushed out more leaves, um, but this is a cutting that took very long time 
to push out new growth. I think this is a new, the first new leaf pushed out and this is the latest new leaf that pushed out. I got this one in all maybe April this year as well. And this one is six month growth of this cutting, but this whole thing has grown in six months. So I doubt there are some kind of um, in infection maybe of this leaf that's why it looks like it's variegated but um, it's quite interesting because the leaf itself is kind of healthy and um, I really like the the shape of this Hoya and I will also show you as I mentioned previously how it looks like in my Millspo cabinet with other hanging Hoyas it just looks so um, tidy, but at the same time looks very beautiful. I could just stare at it for a couple of hours in front of my Millsbo cabinet. And also the new growth point over here. It also has that kind of coloration deviation. Let me know in the comment box down below, is this because of too high light? It has that hmm, weird coloration. But it's still made up to the top 10 favorite. Not just because of this weird shape and coloration, but also the growth pattern is very, very pretty. Look at this. This one over here is Hoya Sembra. This one here is perfect timing to show you because it has this kind of autumn leaf color for the new growth I think this is because of the highlight condition that these leaves are closer to. Um, I'm using Spider Farm Light, not sponsored, but I always mention about them. And you can see that the leaf is very sun stressed. But the way that this one sun stressed is not like deep red color. Could be because the coloration of the leaf originally is pretty dark. That's why the new leaf comes out is not extremely red in color. However, it has that kind of pinkish yellow color which makes it very nice for the season very autumn like and i really 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 like hoya odente it is because it has very small and pointy leaf it looks very similar to nihu CA, if you recall just a few plants i showed you earlier on it has this kind of oval but then you have a pointy leaf in the very end also the midrib is very obvious the thing about um sembra is that it has really very very beautiful uh, flowers the flower has a special kind of shape it's not like normal flower it's not like a uh, umbel that shows uh just like a little ball but instead this one spread like a uh, other kind of houseplant, not like Hoya flower shape, but because of the way the flower grows and also the com like the compact uh, flowers that could have, for example, it could have so many flowers in just one small plant, it looks extra beautiful. And um, you can see that the leaf shape is also really obvious when it comes to the vein, especially for the new leaf. And also, it is very glossy. You can see the, even the old leaf, it's pretty glossy. The new leaf is extremely glossy. Look at this. I love this one so much because it's also a small, tiny leaf. Another small leaf Hoya here. This one is Hoya Lacunosa from Lankai Island. You can see the leaf shape is very much like Lacunosa. And I know that this is not the smallest variety um, of Lacunosa, but this is the smallest variety I have. It looks extremely cute. You can see each leaf is smaller than my nail. And the splash on the leaf is just very beautiful. And not just the leaf coloration, but if you look into the shape, it has that kind of um, 
mid rip and also it also have the kind of the vein the vein itself formed the shape of the leaf and under the light you can see it's very glossy it's shiny not the same way as sambra because sambra is glossy but um, this one here is shiny and the leaf just keeps constantly small. Again, this one is a Hoya that I got from Camilla. I think I got this one in June. So I got this one during summertime and I got it around this much of cutting and it has grown three times the size. It is absolutely beautiful as a basket plant if you could imagine. A basket of this one will look incredibly cute. Looking forward to see this growing flowers as well. The splashes and all of these new growth point. Absolutely amazing. Another small leaf Hoya over here. This one is Hoya VL9. I got this one um, in late June um, in summer this year. Uh, I got this one from Emily, uh, Hoya Maniac. Um, the time when she gave me, it's around, I think it's around this size. It should be two to three node and it grow really, really nicely. I love the growing pattern. As you can see this time, the Hoya that I'm showing you are more like a um, basket friendly type of Hoyas. Small leaf and also hanging type of Hoyas. Hoya VL9 is really beautiful as a hanging plant because it has relatively thin stem, as you can see here. And also the internode is pretty long. I would say around two to three centimeters long. And also each time they have two leaves on each node. That's why it looks extremely attractive as a hanging plant. And also if you look into the shape of the leaf it is a bit elongated and also very kind of rounded on the side you also can see the coloration of this one if you can see the hint of purple the reason why this particular one has that hint of purple is because it is really close to the grow light that's why it has that kind of light sun stress color the purple is so beautiful especially on top of the silver and you can see this one as well because of the highlight condition. For the newer leaf, it does not have as much exposure to highlight. It's not as splashy, um, but these ones are extremely splashy. And you can see the silver are just reflecting in the perfect way. Look at this beautiful one. This one here has pretty compact growth point. So, all in all, it is absolutely beautiful hanging plant. Look at this. Very nice growth pattern. Over here, we have Hoya Micro Dorf. I will show you the accession number of this Hoya and S something something. Um, I am super happy this plant is actually a really, really prolific grower. Again, this one is very, very small. Um, I remember at the time when I got it from Camilla, it is around this size that I got. I got it in April and after half a year, it has maybe growth four times the size. And the interesting part of this particular Hoya is nobody really knows what this Hoya is. It has the vein kind of look of a Nicosonia, but at the same time, it has very thin leaf shape or leaf condition. What is this? Okay. Um, as you can see, if I put more light on top of it, it has that very obvious um, vein showing up on the leaf shape. And it is super interesting. You can see these ones. These ones are already mature leaf because the new leaf is here. It is super tiny, right? It is maybe half of my nail size. But this one on the bottom, it is super large. 
it, it is like half of my finger. So if I show you the comparison, look, I almost feel like it's a different plant. If you show me this part of the plant and also this part of the plant, I would say it's two separate um, species. But um, obviously it is within the same plant. It's just a very, um, it has a huge variety when it comes to the leaf size. And look at this one. This one is entire length of my finger. And this one over here is half my nail. So I think this one, um, it's just keeps giving me a lot of surprises. And at the same time, it also suns dress really, really nicely. As far as I know, nobody has really flowered this one since it has been collected. I look forward if I ever got the opportunity to see the flower, but um, we'll see. I, I don't need to see the flower because it's just really nice with the leaf already. Look at this one. It looks a little bit pinkish yellow for the newer leaf that has some that has been sun stressed. Last but definitely not the least, because I want to show you the most exciting one that has surprised me with the growth pattern. Could you tell with this very large leaf shape and very thin as well? This one here is Hoya Medinli Folia. I am very happy with the growth because first it grew and second it pushed out new leaves. I am so excited because this one, it is super difficult to obtain and also it is very uh, precious um, plant that not a lot of collectors have. And at the same time, I got this the first time from Camilla in, I would say in July, but that one just did not make it after one week. It Both of the leaf um, dropped off and I was so disappointed because I know there aren't so many opportunities for me to get this one. But I'm really, really happy that Camilla gave me this replacement. And yes, you are right. There are two sets of new leaf in total, four new leaf that has grown from August until now. So this is two month growth because this is the second Medinley Folia that I got from Camilla. I really, really like the leaf shape. As you can see in this close up, it has very compact veining. And also the leaf itself is extremely thin. It's paper thin. It's probably even thinner than paper, but it also have this kind of pillowy texture. These two are the original leaf. It's still staying strong and looking very, very healthy. It just looks like the same as the day when I received it. This was the flower that it attempted to grow, but it dried up, which is not surprising. I just want this one to continue growing some more leaves. So maybe I can take cuttings and then have a secure plant and feel more safe. And you can see the new leaf comes in more, I would say, light green color, but you can already see that vein and the shape of the leaf itself. This one the same. The new leaf is slightly smaller, possibly it could be because I have higher light. This one has a little bit of damage. I think it is because of the high humidity or condensation of water that has damaged the leaf growth. But this one here looks perfectly fine. And exciting thing I can show you is, yes. Oh my God, I'm really surprised with how much root this has pushed out. Um, and I think this one loves water a lot because most of the Hoya that I have showed you, I watered maybe every one and a half week, even two weeks. But this one I watered last week and most of the water is gone already. So likely it is because of the thin leaf shape and also because it is a large leaf. It takes so much more water from the water reservoir. But uh, looking forward for it to grow more and then I can chop and then repot. Uh, and then I don't have to worry too, too much about losing this one again. There you go. 
Thank you very much to stay until now. I wish you enjoy the content as much as I do. I really enjoy filming this type of top 10 favorite and I have been filming for a couple of episodes already. I like it because I can select Hoyas from before and also from recent purchase. And if you have any particular Hoyas that you want me to show you more close up, I would really appreciate if you leave your comment down below so then I can show you specifically the Hoyas that you want to see how the growth is like. Or if unfortunately they did not make until today. If you like this type of content and you want to support me of continuously making this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. If you like this type of content and you don't want to miss out next time, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so every time when I post it similar content or anything related to my houseplant, you will get the first notification. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!